last year and, and said that we could make chili. What are these notes? This is what's going in, right? Spices for chili. Yeah. Cumin, cayenne, smoked paprika, oregano and coriander. Yeah. So these are the spices so all mixed together. I put a little bit of garlic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about half past 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Are you awake yet? No. All right. This is my shadow. This is your shadow? Yes. Okay, and what's this? Okay, so here we have some onion, and I like to put a little bit of bacon, which I will fry. Now this is smoked, but this is smoked bacon from um, a pig that was slaughtered last year, then smoked up, dried and smoked, right? No. No. <clears throat> that's the bacon that we bought in Mad Cat, but, and then. Oh, we'll that's the bacon that we bought. Well, see, you, on this video, you've got, you, there's nothing hidden. This is all all done as it is, and in there is just a little bit of ground beef, and yep. I have uh, pre-soaked beans. Put them to soak in the buy, water. We buy these locally and then overnight. they soak overnight. They soak overnight so they cook easy. So these aren't like people in, in Britain, this is not beans out of a can, is it? No. Okay. And the other Never made... buy beans out of the can. And then this is this is uh, extra virgin olive oil. Yes. Because we're gonna do we're gonna do a version of chili. As I say, my sister said that we, you know, showed us how to, and my brother in law showed me how to do um, uh, a sweet chili, but we're going to do a, a version on it, aren't we? Today. Yes, because I put a little bit of this. Spicy paprika. Spicy paprika. Yes. It's gonna give a little kick. Yeah. And as you know, um, as, as well as doing cooking, um, it's 30 day no booze and we're on day six. How are we gonna not drink booze today when we go? For lunch. I don't know. We're going out today for, for a meal, so we might have a glass of wine. We might have a glass of wine, which yeah, it depends. Which this day will be big uh, question mark. A big question we're... mark. No. Okay, but we're doing quite well. Don't yeah, we? yeah, indeed we are. So now we are going to fry bacon and onions. Always love the sound of. I just fried onions. like to fry them until they get a little bit brown because it gives a better flavor. Some people would put this straight in a crock pot. I don't know how you try it. Try them for it. So now I'm going to add the meat. Mm -hmm. Up a bit. The weather's still a bit iffy, isn't it? With this. Come again? The weather's still a bit miserable outside. When do you think it's going to get sunny? I mean, this is the seventh uh, of April, isn't it? Yeah. I always like this, you know, doing things in a pan. So brown up the meat a little bit. While this is browning off, we've just been talking um, about uh, going places and how cheap it is to go places uh, from Banja Luka, like to Graz for a day or Trieste for a day shopping, um, or like a weekend in a nice hotel, but for two nights in Belgrade. It's quite cheap to travel from here, which is one nice thing about living here, although we haven't really tried it yet. But do you know what? Having seen those Turkish soap operas, I think we need to go and see uh, Istanbul. What do you think? I think so, yeah. yeah. Or Mardin. Or Mardin. Oh, Mardin. But that's down by the Syrian border. I know. It could be quite dangerous. <laughs> well, I don't think it's dangerous. It just takes us a long time to get there. But it's I'm going to add some spices now. Yeah. All the spices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was in there again? So I use one teaspoon of cumin. Yes. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Yes. Or actually, instead of cayenne, I used the uh, spicy pepper that I showed you earlier mm -hmm. on the video. And I used one teaspoon of smoked paprika, mm -hmm. one teaspoon of oregano. What did you call that word? Oregano. Thank you. And one teaspoon of coriander. Cool, that looks nice. And uh, I put just one extra teaspoon of uh, sweet pepper. Mm -hmm. 
We're out of uh, sweet paprika now, aren't we? I think I have one more small container uh -huh. in the freezer. Well, we have to order some small stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to add a can of tomato. Mm -hmm. Chopped tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, I use it's a little... typical, typical in 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 uh, <coughs> in supermarket brand. Yes, nothing special. This one's very good. Get all the goodies in. Get all the goodies. Little bit of garlic chopped up. When it comes to you, it's always got to be garlic, because you have garlic with every meal. I eat even raw garlic. It's I know you eat raw garlic. You. Trying to get me to eat raw garlic. Free. Okay, now I'm going to combine everything in a crock pot, everything together. So yeah. we're going to put the beans in a crock pot. Actually, I use more beans than beef. I told you because I like it. Mm -hmm. Things that I made. One of the nice things I like about when you do things is like the, the, the simple things such as soaking off the beans overnight. Most people just buy them in cans now, don't they? <coughs> yes. So, what's the benefit of doing them on your own, do you think, or isn't there any? Uh, there is huge benefits because all these canned beans. Yeah. So the canned beans are all full of salt. Uh huh. And then uh, I think they put preservatives to keep them stay. So it's better to make, you know, on a weekend to make your own bowl of beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to stir all of this mm -hmm. together. I mean, doing things in a crock pot normally is so incredibly simple, isn't it? And I mean, you can feed yourself. I mean, if you're on your own with this small crock pot, you could just live off it for a week, couldn't you? A bit boring, I know, but healthy. So I'm gonna add the two, about two cups mm, of you water. You can add like half a liter or mm -hmm. however, but I'll just add two cups of water and I'm gonna put one bouillon, or you can add just stock cube. Yeah. Stock. That's bouillon. But since Look at all this product placement from Maggie. I know, but since in this country you can't buy uh, beef stock in a can or in a plastic container, you have to make your own. But because I'm, I don't feel like boiling water and making my own, it's going to do the same thing, it's going to dissolve. Taken up because beans, they have lots of starch in them, and they. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we stick it to this void. And it goes. Cover it. Mm -hmm. and how I'll how put long? It on high. Low and high depends. I'll put it on high first for two hours, and then on low for six hours. What do you think it's going to be like? Six to eight hours. It's going to be delicious. Can you plug this in, please? So that's it. So that's our chili. Two hours to start off with, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Now I think what we'll do, we're gonna, we've got something else to do. I'm about to sneeze, and I'm thinking about planning to go to Istanbul. God bless you, and God bless United States of America. I hate it when you say that.